Good afternoon, Mr. Ajay Saxena. Thank you very much for being here today. It's a, it's a great honor. To, uh, you are one of the most renowned PPP experts in the country. You have a vast experience with uh, working with the Asian Development Bank over 10 years. You were there as a PPP expert in different, different areas in the um, uh, financing, procurement, housing and urban development sectors. Uh, you advise uh, the government, the, the central government, the state governments and municipalities. And also you are a strategic advisor for the NIIF, which is the, the National uh, Investment Infrastructure Fund as a policy advisor in the policy advisory cell. So thank you for being with us today here. And, and uh, on the NIFF, I'd like to ask you the, the next question. I think also that the government has tried uh, several similar projects in the waste management sector. But uh, to my knowledge, they have not been so successful uh, in the past. Is, has that changed in the meantime? And are there any uh, you know, good use cases now available? Okay, so very good question. And this is very close to my heart. I had written a very large scale, 2,500 tons per day a cluster of municipalities around MMR, Mumbai Metropolitan Region Development Authority uh, project was there and there was some five greater municipalities, uh, not apart from Mumbai, but the uh, on the periphery of Mumbai, there were five municipalities, including Thane, Kalyan, uh, all those uh, best things were there. From that time onwards, I think it, it has been almost eight to ten years that we, that we structured that project. Lots and lots of things have changed. Earlier, even the good municipality used to use a thumb rule for the quantity of waste, the measurement of quantity of the waste. And the project size was structured around that thumb rule of the norm, normed grams per uh, person. So they used to have the population, then some 250 grams per capita uh, and multiplied by the population, that is my waste size. Nobody used to bother that what is the actual waste going on there. So some of the technically sound project could not survive the day earlier in the past because the kind of quantity they were uh, they were uh, promised or not the promise it was written in the document that could not reach. So it was half a half a quantity. Imagine a road which is open for the half of the estimated traffic. What will happen to the road project? Doesn't mean that the road was constructed wrong. Road is perfectly fine, finely constructed. Once it is constructed, when it is open to the traffic, only the half of the estimated traffic is coming. How do you find a private person surviving? Okay. So similar things happened in the past in the waste sector. So that is one area I see lots of improvement has been done. People are doing the uh, collection and transport also. And then the, from the collection and transport, they weigh the things and then they are coming closer to their estimate. I don't say that it has been uh, improved to the perfection, but the kind of weirdness or the kind of discrepancies we used to find 10 years before, those were not, those are not there. If the quantity of waste uh, as per the estimated and per the actual was at a difference of 50%, now it has come down to like a 70-80% which is meeting assumption. And the people uh, in the practitioner side and in the government side understood this problem. So they have started doing some a modular approach, and uh, there are certain cloth, there are certain uh, municipalities or the private sectors who have started asking take or pay mechanism. So their investment is saved. So these are the some structures I, I see. I can also say that why these were filled earlier, the kind of moisture content uh, in the waste in the different cities were never done scientifically. So it was only the guesswork. Most of the time, the consultant written, all the persons, including the bank, used to uh, follow that blindly. And everybody used to be failed miserably at the end. Those things have improved. These all things are becoming uh, good because of the better knowledge, because of the, unfortunately, the failed projects that we have seen. So people are now in the government. I have seen the awareness has reached to the level that the administrator asked first to study the failure, remove the contents of the failure, elements of failure, and then structure the project. Does not guarantee a full success, but guarantees a better. People have started understanding the concept of the uh, tipping fee. People have, and they have started feeling, most of the government officers I've seen that they have stopped feeling that the gold, the waste is a gold, and I would earn the money through the generation of uh, power. Uh, those days are gone. 
and there is a protection on the power uh, as power pricing also there is a greater pricing given by the regulator economic regulator in the power sector so those things have gone better so i would say institutionally this sector has improved a lot and which is contributing to a better sector yeah, so you mentioned quantity but i believe also quality was one of the issues right with yes, uh, that's where i said the moisture content of it mm, yeah people, people just believe what the consultant has written so yeah and sometimes the consultant writes because the project has to be financially viable so he will remove the he will lower down the moisture content and he will say you will get a more uh, more calorific uh, waste which is not the case at all so is there any project up and running now which is successful in a ppp model in the waste sector so one project which i saw through my uh, in during my appraisal days in government of maharashtra uh, this kanjur mark in mumbai this project is doing wonderfully well so this is where i got involved also another project which i keep hearing through the newspaper and and to my colleagues in the sector uh, the experts that is the indore one which is doing wonderfully well jabalpur see saw some troubles earlier now it is coming up and they are trying to remove those things and those things again uh, the quality when we were talking it is not about the uh, the um, the moisture content only there used to be 60 to 70% cnd waste used to come in the uh, solid waste which was counted in the quantity so it was quantitatively wrong and qualitatively totally discarded so these were the inerts which were coming so if i have put up a 500 uh, mega uh, 500 metric ton plant i would receive only let's say 100 to 200 maximum thing which will have the moisture 300 ton was coming the cnd waste another institutional improvement has been done and i think the central government should be commended for this then the state government that they they have imposed that everybody should have the cnd waste uh, management facility separately that has taken care of the, the that has improved the quality of waste reaching to the waste to energy plant great so uh, thanks so so i guess just to summarize thank you so much for 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 elaborating and i think we've run out of time a little bit but uh, so waste is definitely one of the sectors that will be coming up right i think a lot of lessons have been learned and it could be a strong focus area for ppp projects in the future uh, a couple of others that we mentioned are uh, are the energy sector uh, the transport sector the mobility sector the the urban uh, development sector right uh, water we mentioned so i think these are all areas that we can focus on for ppp in the future so i guess that's uh, it's looking fairly fairly bright uh, of course we also have the road and the airports uh, which we mentioned earlier in the discussion so a lot of opportunities for uh, for the ppp uh, space in india um, on the on one thing i just forgot to make um, for, so it is for the people uh, benefit of the uh, people who are into the water sector and so there is a national there is this national mission amrut 2.0 so there is a national task force and i am the member uh, as the ppp expert member in the national task force there if you read the amrut 2.0 uh, guidelines it is mandated in the guideline that every city with a million plus population would do 10% of their project their size of the uh, water the 10% should necessarily be done through the ppp so that's the opportunity which we are talking about in water sector Yeah, so the water is also a little bit tricky, right? Because you also have non-revenue water. So to do a successful yeah. PPP model, there is a bit. It's not of that. Course. Of mm. course. Chalo, but I would like to thank you so much for your time and your your valuable insights. Uh, I hope that our viewers would uh, also appreciate it as much as I have, and uh, uh, hope to see you soon in person. And uh, course, thank yeah. you again. Thank you, thank you, Vincent. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. you.